done plus average against Peter First Wright. leg, Peter to throw first. And Game Pete, on. Peter Wright dealt with him like it was a, a practice match. Yep. It was a very convincing win for Peter Wright in that match against the Bullets. James Wade's average, by the way, 87.4 against Price. It was the lowest 16. of the winners this afternoon. You feel he needs to come up with something more here. I know we say it all the time, but he always seems to raise his game when he needs to. That very often 100. has a similar average, sometimes even a worse average than his losing opponent. Maybe worth mentioning at this early stage of proceedings as well that the head-to-head -head standings are at level 85. paper 14 apiece, but Wade has lost the last eight against Peter Wright. Peter Wright has had a real hold over his opponents in the last, well, year or so. Last eight meetings all going 100. the way of the number two seed here, including a fairly recent encounter in the Premier League as well, which Wright won 7-5. They have had meetings in Europe as well on the European tour. In the European Darts Grand won. Prix last September, in fact, in Sindelfingen in the quarterfinals. So at this stage, and that was a match that Wright won by six legs to three. Yeah, well, that Premier League meeting was held in Glasgow. 121. So the last twice that James Wade's met Peter Wright, he's having to contend with a, a crowd very much in favour of Snakebite as well. James Wade after 59. his quarterfinal win was quick to praise the German crowd. 3,000 fans have crammed in here. Yeah, it's virtually at bursting point. 100. Sparkassen Arena for this evening's session. They do tend to support their favourites, whether that be a home nation qualifier or Peter Wright, who seems to be their darling at the moment. But uh, they are quite respectful. They don't tend to boo and put players off. Now, Peter Wright, this will be very timely indeed to apply some pressure, but James Wade 80. loves an 80 finish because he leaves one of his favourite doubles, and that double is double top, and this is for a break of throw. 60. Narrow Peter miss. 76. Well, he's left himself another of his favourite doubles, double 10, but he might not get the opportunity to have a crack at it. Let's see if Wright can take this out. Treble 24, double eights for the opening leg of this second quarter final. And Peter the first Wright leg. has Caesar Wright, second leg, James to throw first. salvaged that one because there was a point in time where James Wade was a marginal favourite to take that opening leg against the right throw, but it's Wright who comes out on top. 100. Yeah, one dart missed to break, and these margins can be so important in best of 11 darts. That's the format that they play all the way through these European Tour events. You see in the big TV events, it gets a bit longer as the tournament goes on. 140! But not here on the European Tour stage. And the smallest of mistakes can have the player paying the biggest of prices. One hundred and forty. Room for one more, plenty of room as well. 140. But ton 40 plays ton 40 there. But it's still 40 point the cushion. That might be a turning point as well. Just stepping over to the right hand side of the hockey, trying to find a way through, but he pulls it low anyway. And Wade could only score 45 there, so Wright has effectively stolen the darts in this leg. Can he capitalize any further here? Well, he too is in danger of posting 45. He's just having a quick glance. He's 196 away. 45. You mentioned Wright's impressive record against Wade of late. As you said, the tide on the head's head overall, but won the last eight. Nine out of the last ten, Peter Wright, and 50. half of those matches have been quarter-final meetings. Peter Wright loves winning quarterfinals against James Wade and the high profile one at the World Championship, of course. Yep, absolutely. And Peter Wright's done something there that James Wade has never done 100. in reaching the final. 158. Well, this this may have to go. Another one of those. Leaves, double 19. 
Game oh. shot in the second that leg. That is Huge absolutely way. stunning from James Wade. There was a lot riding on that because Wright was on 76. But Wade has leveled the Third leg, Peter to throw first. It was only Game. to hold, but it was important. You are watching two of the best finishers in the world of darts right now. And Peter Wright even tipped his glass to James Wade, appreciating the finish. As well he might, but he might kick off with a 180 here. No, he won't. 140! Wins. Well, he'd had a, a couple of sluggish visits in that leg, did James Wade, but the way he finished it off was very, very accomplished indeed. 95! Well, Wright was waiting on 76. That's the shot he'd taken out in the previous leg. So James Wade may have had that feeling that... If I don't take this, I could be broken and 2 0 down. We've seen James Wade produce that kind of thing several times in the past, and he keeps on doing it. James Wade was a European Tour winner last year. He took the title 100. in Hamburg to add to the one he won in Chip in 2014. 6 5 winner over Dave Chisnell in the final in Hamburg last year. He beat Gary Anderson in the last 16 and Michael Van Gerwen in the semis. Wade, so again, no easy passage that day. We're 13 years a junior of Peter Wright. Interesting. 140. Well, we know what James Wade's done early in his career. This is his 111th Pro Tour final. That's only one short of Phil Taylor's record. Yeah. Thank you to uh, Andy Scott of the PDBA for that one, although I'm sure you were on well on top of that anyway, Chris. I've got his Twitter feed right in front of me. <laughs> well, it just shows you, though, I mean, Wade celebrated his birthday recently, didn't he? Turned 33, so... 96. He's got time on his side to surpass P uh, Phil, Taylor's rank, uh, Phil Taylor's record. Yeah, well, and he's already achieved more than most professional dart players have achieved, and perhaps will ever achieve, but Peter Wright, uh, 140. a late bloomer. He's required 32. Incredible journey, really, how Peter Wright has transformed his Peter career Wright. from Public James to journeyman first. professional to one of the very best players in the world. World number three, now a major champion, contender 96. in every event that he plays. He's got his eyes set on going even higher in the world rankings. He wants to become world champion. He'll win the Premier League this year as well. That will be another feather in his cap. But he said, didn't he? He didn't say, if I win the Premier League, because after he won the UK Open and burst into tears on stage, he said, I said I wouldn't cry, so when I win the Premier League, I'm not going to cry then. <laughs> Certainly 84. a confident character, Peter Wright. Well, he's certainly not very shy. Plays to the crowd. And as well as being a flamboyant showman, as he say, backs it up very nicely by 140. playing and producing some terrific darts week in, week out. Interesting, though. Very unassuming behind the scenes, isn't it, Peter Wright? Very quietly spoken as well. 140. He... Uh, Describes his get up as his kind of war paint. At home, he's Peter Wright. On stage, he's Snake Bites. And he's hoping to land a big score to rattle James Wade here. Yeah, because. 130! Well, precisely that, because there is a chance here now for Peter Wright to break the Wade throw for a 3 1 lead. Wade has got work to do here. 160 away. 41. 140 away now. PD require 91. In the balance, but he'd slightly favour right here. Double 17 would have left tops. He's going double double, is he? Is that in? I Must it, be. I think it is, yeah. 71. Jones require well, 140. Might not have liked that. I think it's a fair shot. It's almost a show of respect going for two bigger targets with your opponent on a, on a large finish. 100. Totally agree. Did you require 20. People see it as a bit showmanship, but it's common sense, you could argue. Anyway, double 10 here. Getting closer. No score. And a look of absolute battlement on the face of Peter Wright as he steps up to retrieve him. 
unable oh. to find a way through but James Wade loves double ten he has to love double five now Being yeah sure it is two a piece leg. big big James save that for James Wade yeah the chance Smith you throw for Peter Wright to uh, open up a bit of daylight he starts at double ten for a 3-1 lead instead it's level again at two apiece 100. We already know the winner will take on Jelle Klaassen, who moved through to his second successive European Tour semi-final. A good start for him on the Euro Tour this year. Peter Wright 60. looking to do the same. 34th birthday, by the way, for James Wade last time out. I said he was 33. I'm sure he won't mind that. He won't mind that. He'll take that double carpet for James Wade. 100. And there we see Peter Wright just over the 100 on the average. 26. James Wade. More than 10 points behind him. Eighty. One hundred and forty. Yeah, needed that second treble there to James Wade just to keep himself interested here because Wright was threatening to run away with this leg. But down to a finish first on his throw. One hundred and five. And it could be that sort of match where we just tick over the legs until we find another breakthrough. And that'll get the curve going. And it might get James Wade going as well. He's down to 95. So Peter Wright just has to watch his step again here. He's been taking out shots like this very, very often, but he's not going to take it out now. Yes, it is in the seven, Peter, and you know what that means. 46. James you require 95. 82 left. Went for the treble 14 to leave double top. 43. In my opinion, the right shot with two darts in hand. 70. Now can Peter find the right shot here? Treble 10 for tops. 50. Well, it's just gone a bit cagey all of a sudden, it hasn't has. it? Just, just looking slightly edgy on his doubles all of a sudden. That's 12 for tops for James Wade. And he too is way he above the wire, but the second flag. dart is bang James on the money. Wade. And James Wade has broken right throw Six in the Six leg, leg, James, to throw first. Game on. Well, he's missed darts at doubles in the last couple of legs. Peter Wright. James Wade performing... Punishment on the world number three. 100. And there you see, right. Double percentage drop to a quarter hit. 140. Six from nine and six from ten in his first two matches for Peter Wright. He was fairly efficient on doubles in those wins over Webster and Bunting. He needs to just sharpen up on his doubles and his finishing when he gets into 45. positions because against a player of Wade's calibre, it's a very, very different story indeed. And Wade all of a sudden is just finding a greater degree of consistency here. If he can find another 60, and he has done. 140. Their second highest tournament average up to this point, Peter Wright. Just above 97. 44. A mere 13 points behind Michael Van Gerwen. <laughs> yeah, 110 and 110 for uh, Van Gerwen so far in his first two matches. He's looking ominous, isn't he? 55. Well, 44 from Wright, 55 from Wade. Wright has got away with that one to an extent, but Wade is still in a good position here and you'd rather be in his shoes in this sixth leg than Peter Wright's.
And once again, Wright is struggling for a treble here. 59. And he's yeah, he's once again had another visit without a single one. And he's in a 1 5 8. The 1 4 6. And 68 remaining here for uh, James White. Yeah, it didn't have to go. You feel that the 1 5 8 they did in leg two did. But he would have been 2 0 down. Right, throwing first. How things have changed. 78, right, James. Didn't even look. 52. As he threw that last start in. No, he didn't. Did not even look. Tops again here for James Wade. And James Plan Charles A and comes off. James Wade. And when he gets into those sorts of positions, you really Seven have to fancy him. Throw first. Just a little bit Game of... On. Well, nonchalance from Peter Wright, as if he'd given up in that uh, particular leg. I don't know really what was going through his mind when he did that. It was very... Well, it found the treble 19. These... Okay. Yeah, hit the 135. But you just wonder if... James Wade was stood right behind him watching there. Maybe it's just something to shake James Wade off his throat. We don't know what's going through the heads of the players 68. when they're up there, but was it frustration and was just a fluke that they were in the treble 19, or was it a bit of showmanship? Well, either way, he's 4-2 down here. 100. And Peter Wright needs all the help he can get from this German crowd right now, and they've just dropped the decibel levels, haven't they? There's a bit of a lull again sweeping across these spark arena. 59. James Wade. Now it's his turn to go through a bit of a rocky patch in this particular leg, but he is 99. still in a very, very good position indeed. Right's down to a big finish. But it looks as though he'll have six darts from there to claw one back. 45. Peter Aguilar, 167. Well, I think James Wade should just write this one off and move on. Well, Dan Dawson was making the point earlier on. He doesn't mind what margin he, when he loses legs, James Wade. He doesn't see 60. really any insult in being miles behind and having wasted energy. I know you should never give up in a leg. Mm. But what I'm saying is a school of thought is that however many darts you go out in, you get one leg. And that's often why we see the disparity in averages. Double 16. 91. Yeah, like a self-preservation exercise to an extent as well, isn't it? Well, it's hard to concentrate for the duration of the time you're up there, but now he's looking to land a blow just to apply some pressure. Because Peter Wright has missed starts at doubles on a fairly regular basis so far this evening. He's missed double eight there. And he's, but he's on the target for the second. Peter Wright, eh, for James to throw first. But all of a sudden, James Wade just put on a little bit of a spurt there and was just waiting to pounce just in case. But Peter Wright trims the deficit to 4-3. And once again, it's another shrug of the shoulders and purse slips from James Wade after another below par visit. And Peter Wright in the background, stalking around the back of the stage, just give himself a little G up there when he heard the call of 59 from George Noble. A match official. And he has taken a decent advantage. One hundred and forty. Well, that's more like it from James Wade. There's the uh, chief orchestrator of the crowd once again. He's having a busy day today. He was here this afternoon as well, leading the singing. 132. Both players just seem to have found a bit of rhythm in this eighth leg. Both players hitting the trebles more frequently. Sensible shooting from Wade. Gets himself down to a finish, knowing that he's in danger of being broken here. But has to give himself an out. Well, he took out 158, didn't he? And if he can do that, 170 is within grasp, especially with Wright just well, showing one or two signs here as well of losing his way. He may not need to now after Wright throws that straight dart. He has found a treble with the last one. 170. Part oh. one. Part two is accomplished as well. James Wade looking at the bullseye for a sickener for Peter Wright. 145. Well, 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 what a Did blow that would have been. He moved it. We saw it move. Now, Peter Wright, well, if he doesn't take this out, 
James Wade's going to have two darts at double ten to move five three ahead. And that would leave Wright in a huge, huge hole. Well, part one. Oh, he doesn't get part two. And James Wade will be coming back. For his favourite double ten. Double fifteen to win the Are final, didn't he? And Hilda signed did uh, Peter Wright. Yeah, he's got a land double uh, single five first, Wade. No problem there. And trusty tens again. And James Peter right now is on the brink of an exit here. Nine flag, the quarterfinal Peter's stage. And James, James Wade Game looking on. to end the run of eight straight defeats against the world number three. Yeah, this is a big, big problem now for Peter Wright. The champion in Hildesheim last month is on the verge of going out here at the quarterfinal stage. He has dug himself out of holes many, many times before, especially on the Euro circuit as well. I recall an astonishing fight back against Steve West last year also towards the end of the campaign when the crowd played their part. They don't seem to be playing their part as much today, though, here for Peter Wright. Captivated by what's going on in front of them. Maybe saving a bit of energy for what's still to come, 100. which is Simon Whitlock against Michael Smith and then Barney against MVG. And then the small matter of semis and the final. But right here, right now, James Wade, one leg 16. away. Well, Wade has the insurance policy of knowing that he will be throwing first in the next leg if it goes that far. 140. Well, it's looking likely to. Wade maybe just going go through the motions in this one. Limbering up for the big leg to follow. Mm. 25. Yeah, 25 does leave 96, which is what you were about to say until I 46. almost literally took the words out of your mouth. Well, it looks as though we are heading into a 10th uh, leg, which uh, Wade will kick off. But Wade's just looking to apply some more pressure here. Oh! And wouldn't you just know it, there is a huge amount riding on this visit from Peter right now. 75 away. Well, he did that before, James Wade, didn't he, when Wright was on double eight. He hit then, but he's only got one dart this time. And he has not hit now. And James Wade is on the brink of a victory that's been a long time coming. Double top. And there it is. James Wade ends the run of eight straight defeats against Peter Wright. And the man who won the first European Tour title will not be winning the second. James Wade is through to the semi-finals and he will take on Yella Clarkson later this evening. Before then we'll have Whitlock against Smith and the big one between Van Barneveld and Van Gerwen. Stay tuned for that. We'll hear from James Wade first. Einer der Turnierfavoriten ist raus mit Peter Wright. James Wade steht im Halbfinale und trifft dort auf Jelle Klaassen. James, congratulations. That's a good win against Peter. He's in top form in these days. Oh, I've never won a big game like that before, have I? <laughs> no. <laughs> so happy, happy to, to be in, in the semis? Yeah, um... Like I say, um, it's nice to beat someone like Peter, you know. Peter's one of the best players in the world, in my opinion. Uh, you've got Michael, Gary Anderson and, you know, Peter, and they are the best three players in the world, so um, consistently. Yeah. But someone like me there is to put a stick in a spoke sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you're a player who... And you, you were there when, 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 when they have problems. That's, that's important. No, it's not even when I got problems, you know. I'm there when I when I play darts. Um, if I don't play darts, I get beat. If I play darts, they know they've got to play me. Um, I'm sick of saying, making excuses. Um, I'm okay and they're great. I can be a great dart player. I can also be bloody useless. <laughs> let's let's talk about the important things of life. How are the cars doing? <laughs> the cars are great. My wife is beautiful. I can't wait to get home. This is the first time I've been away without my wife. Yeah. Um, What's she doing, actually? <laughs> Unbelievable. She's having a bit of time away, you know, because everyone forgets. Um, they see the dark players playing the tournaments, doing what we do. But what they also, the, the fans forget is the wives, the partners, um, the support that goes behind us. 
they forget about all those people that are putting the hard work in. And um, Samantha hasn't missed the tournament for the last five years, I think. In fact, she was lazy one weekend. But, um, you know, she's having a little bit of time away. We've got some personal things going on. Um, so I've had to come away and work. She won't be doing it again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. James, see you later. James, wait!